previously. Oh boy. Ah, oh, you're unbelievable. Can you pass me the tissues? Uh Come on, Luca, clean it up yourself. I don't want to deal with your Hey guys, before we begin, let's give huge shoutouts to all the patrons who make this possible. Sebastian, Victor H, CC Anthony, Jan Van S, Null, Gamer Oz, Zax, Rocky, Pandora, Yervitate Green, Austin Pomper, Michael Norton, Stephen McLeese, Karina Ball, Zeth, Jack Sam Betts, Kenny Zaibu, Dominic Ruiz, Elezena, Russell, Ryder Evans, Tim Bobrowski, Fomarin, Thomas Good, Matt, Kobe Fuselier, Sean, Thomas Wilcock, Red, Zhang Zhang, Yoro, Yoyo Dre, Thanatos the 13th, and everybody at the other tiers. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. We really appreciate you guys supporting my shenanigans, so to speak. And I hope to see you guys more as I try to up the ante. Anyways, let's get back to the video. We're live in 3, 2, 1, and boop. Hello everybody, California Maca here. Hope you're doing well, and welcome back to something long, long, long owed. Welcome to Wrong Number. It's been quite a bit, hasn't it? I'm really sorry. Some shit. <coughs> I've neglected this series a bit longer than I should have. <coughs> but we should be able to catch up. I I neglected it because I went for ham into streaming and that went to, to places that were good and bad. I'm an... an Long story short, I'm an asshole, but we're gonna get to it, okay? Okay, we're gonna get to it. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy, I promise. Although you might hear something in the background because I'm, I decided to go to a cafe because I'm having frustrations finding a place to record in. Streaming works fine, but then because it's safe for work enough that you you could brush it off if someone passes by behind you but the moment you see some two dudes stroking your knob their knobs yeah that's pretty much what happens okay anyway going back oh shit i went start never mind um load what's the latest one 1343 here we are oh yeah after the orgasm thanks I got dressed in front of him. He glances around, but his eyes always lend back to me. Also, I have to monitor my, my volumes. Alright. There we go. That should work. Keep enjoying the show, Xander. So, I owe you a drink next week. <laughs> his smile is cute. Aww. Why is he gotta do that? Why is he gotta do that? The up arms up, pits showing, everything shrimp pose. Yeah. You sure you don't want to stay for breakfast? I, uh... Oh no. Oh yeah, he had mixed feelings. I should go on tonight. Sexual frustration. Blue balls! There are blue balls! Okay, hmm. If Lana had just come home maybe an hour later, I might have gotten to my ass pounded right about now. Do you have condom? This is important. I mean, you guys know each other enough, but, you know. Kind of. But if you want bear baggers or droids, I'm not gonna judge you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Going by Xander's track record, though, he probably would have been done in another 10 minutes. <laughs> I walk Xander to the front door, a whole seven steps away from the church. Sorry. Church couch! God damn it, I'm trying to desecrate the church already. I haven't even started. We're not five minutes in. <laughs> We're not even a minute in. Okay. You know, Luca. Luca? Yeah? <gasps> Xander carefully looks me up and down. You're hot when you're mining. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even try to hold back my laugh. I know though. I am. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that reminds me of um, a trip at the hot tub. At, at the spa. Sauna. Sauna. It was a steam room. It was a steam room. And there was someone I got to know really well. And we were just resonating with each other, forehead to forehead, just going to town, just feeling each other's auras in the heat of the steam room, that kind of thing. It was, I'm telling you, god damn it, maybe I should write a book of all these bullshit. But you're still an ass. That's the best kind of ass. Yep, but a fine ass, right? Uh, it's alright. 
I'm Sendetta. Really? Name it. Who is it? Patricia Caputo. Jennifer Lawrence. I don't know what the fuck you're into. Bruh, come on! <laughs> Air starts getting heavy again. I've never considered friends with benefits before. It feels kind of weird for me. I can tell. Dick. I know. One last check up before he bids farewell for the night and leaves. I'll text you about drinks next week, okay? Sure. He gives a tiny wave before he closes the door behind him. I let out a heavy sigh of frustration. It's late, I should sleep. But something is keeping me awake. I guess it's just me and my hands tonight. Do we get to see it? No! No? Fuck all! I wanna see! I wanna see! It's Monday. So. <laughs> so. I perk my eyes up from the cheesy beef burger to see Ash staring at me with apprehensive eyes. The straw from his drink dangles loosely from his lips. What's up? How was your date last Friday? Uh? -huh. I respond by chewing without chewing my food. Oh man. Someone got some booty after the footy. Sweet merciful lord. He cringes, I thought my use of rhyme was sublime. We started watching the game, but he suggested we have a little bet and by the end of the night I was completely naked. So naturally we started making out on the catch. Ash rubs his temple while listening to the recount of Friday I'm night. I'm not even surprised. We didn't get very far though. Lana came home and interrupted us before I could get his pants off. Uh-huh. Oh, what a shame. The sarcasm is brewing. Hey. Cheeky. Everybody's cheeky. Yeah, yeah. I see the cur his curl into a smile as he steals a couple of my fries. Hey, those are my fries. He nuts. I push the tiny cup of smoky barbecue sauce closer. So we're going out again on Saturday night? Really? Now I'm surprised. Why? What is this, your third date? When was the last time you went on a third date with someone? You do know I use the word date ironically, right? If it's just hanging out with friends, then we, go, then we go out every second Thursday for drinks after work. That's different, we're not even having sex. You know I'd be up for it if you were. Oh my god, get on track, Luca! Luca! Luca baby, dearie, sweetie, honey boo boo, come on. Stay on track! I don't want my first time to be with someone as loose as you. Hey, I'm pretty tight! Everyone says they want the tight bitch, but please don't say anymore. Hey! Ash averts his eyes as he tries to hide his embarrassment from me. Anyway, seeing this guy again. I search for a napkin to clean up my mouth. Ash notices and grabs me one from a neighboring table as ours is empty. He's attentive like that. If I wanted a boyfriend, then Ash would be my first pick. Thanks. Yeah, I lost a bet, so I'm shouting him drinks. Ash raises an eyebrow and carefully accuses me. Huh? What's he accusing? Did you lose on purpose so you could see him again? I bet the feel I get the feeling Ash has something else he wants to say, but he's holding himself back. <laughs> I know, you think, I know the world you think the world of me, but no, I didn't lose on purpose. To be fair, it's a gamble what happens on a team. <laughs> got himself a napkin to wipe his hands, leaving me with only a handful of fries left on my plate. I just thought maybe you were finally. You never know. You never know. For him, it is. Because you, Luca, are a man whore. I am a man whore as well. But I don't go on dates. I get ambushed in the bathhouse. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, they calm down. I guess there is some truth to that. Yeah, yeah, enough about me. What's going on with you? Pulls out his phone. I joined the dating app. Huh? About time. He's a hopeless romantic, so why hasn't he tried the dating app until now? Still baffles me. Meet anyone good? Have a look. He spins his phone around and passes it to me. I notice a couple of familiar faces. I've slept with him before. Oh my god, let's just not go there. Oh my god, please, don't bring that up, Loka. This isn't something you bring up. I know. Uh, Luca, Luca, Luca. Okay, hold on. Luca, sweetie, Turi. Luca, this isn't how we roll. If you see people that you recognize when you're on the dating app, 
especially with someone as serious as this guy. You don't just go like, hey, I fucked him before. Are you only, this is like Brenda. This is like Brenda from Scary Movie when they went on that road trip. The What's his name? I might have already loved him. Tom Ryan? Yep, did him. Big fat Chinese guy. That one. It was that scene. This must be why he's never used a dating app before. It's your fault! I would say get around as much as an Uber driver and the idea of dating someone your best friend previously hooked up with isn't something he's looking for in a partner. Luca, what the fuck? You don't just say that either! Just let him look! Jesus Christ! He wants to be half decent, so... To want the guy half decent, so that rules out anyone he's dated before. I'll be honest, I don't know if you got a claim on that one though. I don't want your sloppy seconds anyway. I hold back the urge to make a crude joke about just how sloppy my seconds can actually get. Please! God damn it! This guy's worse than me! That's a feat! If you wanna know what's worse than me, I mean, if you don't know what I'm like, you could ask Jasper, I guess. Or Kofus. Or Buck! Actually, Buck's the best choice. He's suffered enough of me when we drive trucks together. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> It gets so bad with me when I talk about my shit with Bug. I swear to god, it's so... It's crass, it's crass. I am crass. Good thing I can't get pregnant. <laughs> what? What? What is the conclusion? <laughs> you, you look at all oh, that and it's like, Good thing I can't get pregnant. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Why is that your first fucking boy? <laughs> In case you're wondering. This is we're talking, his phone pings. A picture of someone I don't know shows up. Got a message from Chad. Has my phone back. I've been chatting with Chad for about a week now. Ah, his name's Ch Ash, his name's Chad. And? Right now, that's the least of my worries. What I'm concerned is if you already slept with him or not. Oh, I raised both hands to show my innocence. Relax, I don't know the guy. How rare, he's already one in a million. Aw, he found someone. Whereas I'm just like, we're a little bit of fun. One, if it's one way they think this is better than the other, I don't think so. I agree. But come on! You don't got- that, dis that moment of discussion was definitely something. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Yeah! Saturday! Couldn't have come sooner. After finishing my half day of work, I drive the car to the CBD and park in the same Wilson parking building. Walk along the same busy street and use the exact same elevator to enter somewhere. Going up. A sense of deja vu washes over me. I feel like our first meeting. Doors was... opening. Elevator going up. I should stream tonight. Scanning the busy for yeah. I don't. <laughs> I don't spawn Xander anywhere in sight. What time is it? I'm early again. Guess I'll take a walk about while I wait. While we loiter between the pub and the cinema, I think back to something that Ash had said to me. It's true that I often don't get past the first date with people I say, but that's not to say our first encounters aren't unforgettable. Xander and I have grown pretty close, closer than what I'm used to. But I don't think that he's someone that special to me just yet. Do I want him to be? Hmm. I say yes. As a, as a person, myself, I'll say yes. I wanna see where the romance goes, you know, but I feel like we need to get to each other, know each other more. Sometimes has passed, I know this I don't notice a figure approaching me from behind the toilet field. Two pair of fans firmly plant themselves on my shoulders. Oh no! Stop me. Oh no! I flinch in shock, slowly turning around, prepared to witness whatever silly imagery is going to be portrayed on his shirt. To my surprise, nothing. Oh Lord! Oh, He's sick. He's really sick. My jaw hurts. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Actually makes him look damn handsome. Damn right. Hey, Xander. You're looking really good. Really, really good. I could eat. I just ate you. Up.
I will say there's something I have a problem with. The fucking stitching. I don't wanna be one of... I'm not a fashionista, but I don't know... I don't know, I guess it's fine. But I wish the one at the crotch area was a little more subtle. You know? But then again, I'm not sure. Can't really say. I'm not a fashion designer, don't talk to me about that shit. I just thought, had a thought. Why do you sound so surprised? Big step back and dust off his shoulder, sneer at me with a sexy grin, help. Help. Please stop. Stop being adorable. I will s*** you. <laughs> Where do you get all the confidence from? Did you dress up just for me? You're just bro. Your cockiness astounds me. No, I had a lunch with my dad at Yaya. The fuck's a Yaya? Yaya? Cafeteria? Your Yaya? Oh, now I get it! Never mind, it's not an Aussie thing, it's a Filipino thing. It's an, it's probably an Asian thing. Yaya in Filipino is a caretaker for the most part, but I think it could translate to something else in other countries. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I'm smart. I don't know a lot, but I know enough, and that's enough. You dress up for that? Yeah. Went to a vineyard and restaurant at Yarra Valley. Ooh, fancy. Rolls his eyes and reply. What did you eat? Single gnocchi. Just a piece? You mean a bowl of gnocchi? No, I mean literally a single gnocchi. That doesn't sound very filling. I didn't think it would either. But when it came out of the plate, it was about the size of a lamb. What the fuck? That's a huge gnocchi. <laughs> it was the size of a lambing that That's fucking huge. But was it one giant gnocchi? Yep. How was it? Pretty damn good, I gotta admit. I'll take you there sometime. Uh, oh my gosh, we're dating as friends. As friends, uh... <coughs> <coughs> On your next date, lucky me. I know that look, stop it. I didn't say anything. You don't have to, but you get that look on her face, there's only one possible thing on your mind. <laughs> after all, Xander still seems keen to spend time with me, even after figuring out what type of person I am. Maybe he can change me? <laughs> Continue all the way inside, I've worked up an appetite. Security asks to check Xander's ID, but I completely ignores me. Much busier tonight than the last time. Scanning for an empty table, I spot several women wearing pink sashes with white right? thing on their chest. I don't even read the silver glitter to know what their sashes say. Someone's getting married. Girls at the bar raise their tequila shot before throwing their heads back. They look like they know how to have a good time. A hand scoop. It's too crowded for you. We can leave and go some if it's too crowded, we can leave and go somewhere else. <coughs> like back to my place. I bet you're thinking something like let's head to my place, aren't you? Am I really that obvious? <laughs> Buy me a drink first, then we'll see where we end up tonight. You did lose a bet after all. Since fair. What do you want a drink? He pats my shoulder. His hand lingers a little longer than usual. Intriguing! <laughs> I lean in close and whisper into his ear. Should we make another bet tonight? He scoffs at my suggestion. Knowing exactly where I'm driving this conversation. You know, Luca. Alex? We approach a woman with long hair and a vibrant sunset orange dress. The pink makeup on her cheeks and bright glittering sash would suggest she's part of the hens group. She directs her gaze towards Xander. Her eyes widen when he sees her. Bridesmaid. Ah! Zeta? That sounds familiar. It really is you. What are you doing here? What are you doing? One of my friends is getting married! We're doing a pub crawl to celebrate! What about you, Alex? It feels like I've seen, I haven't seen you in weeks. What have you been up to? Alex? Oh, um... Hanging just... out with a friend. Cool, well, hi, friend. Her bubbly disposition makes me makes it hard to dislike her. Why would I? She looks like the type of girl that knows how to have hi, fun. Hi, other friend. We exchange friendly smiles and over the top handshakes. The girl has a firm grip, you know what that means. We swap pleasantries and praise each other's sense of style. Not everyone can pull off an orange dress before she turns her gaze towards Xander or... Alex? Hey, so like, real talk, how come you never called me? I thought you were going to give me a ring. Uh, Xander? Xander! Oh my god, you... Former flame, current flame, besties, great, Xander, good job, good job, good job, Xander, good job. I don't know where this is going, but god bless you, anyway. Anyway. Uh, you gave me you a big number. 
What? No, I didn't. Yeah, the number you gave me was. Uh, yes, it was. He stopped and stopped Ramak and returned with a look. Can you believe this woman? Give me a sec. He brings up my name and. This is the number. 511 at 5. Oh my god! No! No, 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 no. <coughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You fucked up because the num keys! The num keys! The num key is different. Some phones have their numbers aligned up, but then other phones have it down. Oh god, Xander! You made the wrong call! Serious? Oh my god, I can't believe you! I, w I would- Xander. Xander. Xander, Alexander, sweetie, if I were you, I would crawl under one of the tables. And then crawl away. And then find a dumpster. And hide behind that, and then smack myself silly. You can have him kiss you in behind the dumpster, but that's pretty much what I do, okay? Okay. You silly boy. You silly. You're cute though. Mwah. That's it. Holy shit, that is, that's so embarrassing. <coughs> oh my god. I can't believe the viscosity of this. It's so nuts. Oh no, did you call the wrong number? Yeah, I did. Your, one, your ones look like sevens. Oh no. I can't believe this. I thought you gave me a big number to hint that you weren't interested. If I wasn't interested, I wouldn't have given you my number in the first place, now would I? This is it is fucking embarrassing. You guys are fucking unbelievable. Actually pretty funny. Here, give you give me your number and I'll call you right now. Alright. Your site is number to and promptly because it's mobile. The digits show up. I guess I'll just stand to the sign my number business. I'll save it now. You better. Hey, if you and your friend are keen, why don't you join us for drinks? Sounds like a genuine invitation, but I wonder if it's alright for the with the bride to be. Your bride's maid. My question is soon answered by the drunken shouts declaring the next round of drinks in the proper on her. Xander turns to me with doubtful eyes. Is it really alright? Yeah, only if you want to. Oh, I don't know how this is gonna go. Give me a sec. I need to save this motherfucker. Holy shit, this is wild. This is wild. What if I leave them be? I lean my arm against his shoulder and respond for both of us. We're in. Are you buying? Tonight I came out that expecting things to go well for Xander and me, but it doesn't take a genius to see that the first thing he's really interested in is Zeta. I could try to convince him to come home, but honestly, what's the point? It's better to go with the flow and enjoy what life throws at you. Xander turns to me with a surprise we, expression. We are? Isn't it a bit weird for two guys? Okay, give me a sec. I want to be dramatic here. You know what? You should join them. I'm gonna go. What? I sure you're both more than welcome. Tonight I came out expecting things to go well, but it doesn't take a genius. And as a friend, I should go with it. be a good wingman and let them have their time together. Good luck, stud. Nope, I don't like that either. The fact that I'm considering the options. Let's join. We are? Oh, sorry. Isn't My it head hit there. For two guys to crash a hen's party? It is a little weird, but you know what? Weird's the weird's dear. Not if you're fighting. Exactly. I'll give him a little nudge in the right direction. His eyes widen before his lips curl into a smile. What are you, my wingman? We're greeted by bride to be who's already intoxicated, congratulating her on her upcoming nuptials. She's prompt, promptly welcomes us to our party and proceeds to smear shim, shimmering glitter onto my face. How do I look? <laughs> Gorgeous, like a disco ball. I'm looking forward to tonight. Zeta buys Xander's usual drink that he would order at the workplace. And also shouts me a rum and coke. We spend the night- Wait, can we click these? Oh my god, we learned Aussie slang! Yeah! We learned Aussie slang! Aussie slang means to treat or pay for. We spend the night chatting, drinking, and there's a little bit of dancing between Zeta and I. 
I learned that Xander has been going to the bar that Zad Zeta works for several weeks before he actually worked up the courage to have a conversation. She always thought he was kind of cute, so when he wanted the way to contact her, she was ready to give out the number. <laughs> Realizing that he had misread her ones and sevens uh, as sevens and ended up calling me instead, we all have a good laugh about the hilarity. So you went to the movies with Luca instead? Yeah. He even had gold class tickets. Oh, I missed out! The night goes on, we have a few more drinks. Zeta and Xander cuddle up next to each other, and Bright to be dancing on top of the tables. One of our tethers comes over to the group and tries to usher Zeta's friends down. You gotta come down from there. Yeah, nah, just kidding. She slips the moment her heels hit the floor and falls on her butt. At least with her side, she's provided with enough cushioning to break the fall. I gotta help her up. Hold up. There we go. I take the opportunity to shuffle up next to him. You better. How's it going? With what? With what? With Zeta, With Zeta of course. Of course. His face turns a pinkish hue. Well, I think... I don't really know. I don't know. What do you mean? Know. I give him a supportive whack on his back. You got this. Gives me a reassured I smile. I wanted to say this earlier, but... <laughs> Thanks, Luca. What for? What yeah, for? Just for... He rubs the back of his neck as he possibly For excited. being cool and hanging out with me the past couple of weeks. Please don't tell me this is the end. I swear to God, if it is the end, I am punching somebody. I will fumigate. I haven't really done anything that needs thanking for, but I'll take it. I was really nervous about getting closer to Zeta, but after hanging with you and experiencing your whole I life don't lessons. give a shit style, attitude, take on life, thing. Yeah. Oh, I give a shit. Do you though, mate? Do you? Less supportive whack on the back. He spills the strings but laughs Anyways, about. just, uh... Thanks. You're welcome. Now that he's brought it up, it's really got me thinking. Why were you even nervous to begin with? It's freaking hot and the body of Adonis. He must have girls fawning over him at uni. He ruffles the Sarah pit before placing the near empty glass down. But my relationships don't last. Is that a reflection of you in the bedroom? <laughs> I deserve that, dick. Sorry, sorry, please continue. That's all I'm gonna say. I said I was sorry. Come on, there's gotta be more to it. You know this before that I overthink things. Sometimes I'll change myself in order to please the girl I'm dating. But it doesn't always work out, and obviously it's exhausting. I've been told that I try too hard or that I'm suffocating to be with. In the end, things don't work out with many of my exes. I was worried that if I showed that lame side of me to Zayda, she'd quickly lose interest. But now, now what? Now I just don't care. I'm taking a page from your book, Luca, and I'm just going to care what the person that matters most is me. What was that thing you said last time? It takes me a moment, but it finally clicks. I only care about the people that matter, and when it comes to my life, I'm the one that matters the most. If things work out for Zeta, great. If not, then it's not the end of the world. Yeah, exactly. Good for you, mate. Yeah, so I guess that's what I wanted to thank you for. for you've really helped me figure my shit out. But don't let it get to your head. Too late. <laughs> They're besties. <coughs> Hold up, let's read that. It wasn't my intention to help Xander. I mean, all I've been trying to do is get to know him better so he'll sleep with me. I'm a rather selfish person. I don't think so. You're genuinely interested. But if selfish intentions can somehow lead to philanthropic outcomes, then I guess there's nothing to complain about. What do you want to do now? Now? Skulls the last of his drink. Now I want to you to buy me that drink you owe me. Damn, I was hoping you forgot about that. Don't try to wheeze your way out of it, Luca. Zaydas returns to our table. Her friend sitting nearby, surrounded by other members. She seems to be fine now. Drink what, drink what I hope is a glass of water, not vodka. I'm black. I'm. I'm back. What did I miss? I really think that out. I really think that out. Not much. I'm about to head to the bar, so don't miss me too much. I've been in a coughing fit for the past week. I'm, my throat is busted, and so is my verbiage. I got up and offer my seat next to Xander. She takes it with a cheeky smile. I won't. She sits down, leaving only the faintest of gaps between her and Xander. He smiles at me with a look of appreciation before turning his attention back to the girl he had been pining after some time. So what are we talking about? 
Uh, well, maybe we could talk about you, me taking you out on a date sometime. I think of him as someone I could be friends with, and I want nothing more than for my friends to be happy. That's genuine. It's a shame though, I wanted to get laid tonight. Head up to the bar trying to grab the bar bartender's attention, but he's busy serving another drinker. I lean back and gaze at the back pub. Things with Xander and Zeta seem to be going well, and the bride to be is now sitting with her other friends and screaming, I love you, you sexy fucking motherfucker! Classy. When the bartender finally comes my way, he motions toward the person standing beside me. He was here first. The man beside me gestures with his hand. I don't mind. You can order first. Hi! Wait! I did I wasn't expecting even more portraits and characters. Who are you? No, no. Gentleman. You go, mate. Rush me a slight smile before turning back to the bartender. He's uh, Jack cute. Daniels, thanks. And make it strong. Make it too. It's on me. The stranger's eyes wide and I get a good look at the natural green color and compliments his red sure? brown hair. Yeah. I'm in a giving mood tonight. Oh. Alright. Wait, thanks. I was so invested in Xander! Xander, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was so invested in Xander. <laughs> the bartender shrugs before turning around to grab the open the battle of Jack behind the problem. counter. If you want, I can also give you my number. I did say I was in a giving mood tonight. <laughs> Should my feelings be I hurt? Take it as a no? <laughs> no, wait, hold up. Yeah, sorry, it's just <sighs> It's been a long day. He takes a moment to catch his breath. I from recently had my heart broken, and what the fuck? I wanted to find someone to help me get over it, but I've no, never been one to flirt. No, no, no. Oh God, sweet juicy Lord Jesus Christ! What is this? What is this serendipity and happening? Here you come along, paying for drinks and handing out your number to a complete stranger that you just met. Holy shit! This is fast. everything is kind of just working itself out, you know. That is wild. <laughs> well, isn't that coincidental? Yeah, hunky dory, isn't it? It's pretty hunky dory, isn't it? I wouldn't say that my heart was broken, but I came here with someone that I'm not going home with tonight. Point my thumb to the drink being made for That's me. That's actually meant to be his drink. The cutie in front of me cracks another smile. Would you mind giving me his drink and I'll give you mine? Oh, are you flirting with me? Oh, ah, ara ara. Are you flirting? Maybe. When the bartender plants to the two glasses of Jack in front of us, I pay on card before sliding the glass closest to me to my new friend. I'm Luca, by the way. He makes my gesture and slides the glass closest to him towards nice me. Nice to meet you, Luca. I'm Peter. 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 You never know how life's gonna turn out. One day you hook up with a complete stranger that called you by accident. Two weeks later, acting as his wingman buying drinks for another stranger at the bar. It's unpredictable, so don't swim too hard against the current and just go with the flow. See where life takes you. Because you never know what's going to happen. Oh, that's the end! Okay, that explains it. Okay, just go with the flow with life. I was invested in Xander though. I'm kinda upset, but also I understand. This reminds me of... Me and my maid. I'm not gonna say who. It's we never we never got jiggy, but I did have feelings. When it didn't work out, it was fine. We're still hanging out even. We never got jiggy or intimate like that, ever. We were purely platonic, and then I wanted to like step it up to maybe romance. They probably said no, but then we were chill with it. <laughs> They've been supportive of me all this time, and all I can do is like support them. You know what helps? The girlfriend is easy to hang out with, easy to easy to like, and easy to, you know, just have a good vibe with. I vibe with them every now and then. Overall, it's a great experience, and you know, you really never know where life's gonna take it. You just gotta roll with the punches. So I understand the game's message, but also, I was fucking infested in Xander, dude. I don't... I don't mind if there's like fanfiction that expands on it, like say that didn't work out. I want to hang out with you, Luca. That kind of shit. That would be great. That would be great. That would be absolutely great. Anyways, oh, the second we got into my apartment. Oh, we're doing more. Oh my god. Oh wait, are we gonna get another sequel with our roommate? That would be great. Guide him towards my bedroom. We explore his body from chin to cheek.
Jodeci? I have a cousin named Jodeci. Oh my god, no. Shut up. (laughs) Your cousin? He wouldn't happen to be 20 and studying arts at uni, would he? Oh my god. He is. And he just moved into a share house in Newport with his girlfriend. Oh my god, no. And he's in a band where he plays drums? Oh no. Yes. Oh no. Oh shit. Shit. (laughs) So I slept with your cousin, dude. How you feeling? Yeah, I actually... Okay, now I'm curious. I was so... I, okay. Can we talk about this game? Let's talk about this game. This feels like very important. I want some afterthoughts on it. Alright. I want I want more. I definitely want more. I was surprised by the ways this went, but I'm not... I'm not upset by it. It flows really well. That's what I like. I really liked it. Like, I was so invested in Xander. And when it didn't work out, that was a bitch of a reality that hit. That was a bitch of a reality. And then, Peter came in, and that was funny, I guess. The sex scene, I will, I, uh, I will be honest, I wish I, I... I was expecting a little more scene, drawn scene there. But at the same time, I mean, we got a bit from Xander. But at the same time, you know, restrictions. I understand that. I'm sure we'll see it in whatever sequel they come up with, but... Oh yeah, I'm blocking the name. Wrong number was a pleasant surprise. Wrong number is a pleasant surprise. I would recommend it to anyone. And I gave a good moral. So it's really good for the younger generation that don't know how to deal with their feelings of falling in love with your straight best friend. Who's really awesome. <laughs> it is fucking... It is one of the most common and frustrating feelings to have. Falling in love with your best friend. And you know we can't because you guys don't have the same kind of taste at that department. Anyways. I'd like to say thank you guys so much for joining me and being patient with this one. I didn't know that this would be the finale, but I'm happy with it. This is a story that I would like to share with more people. Anyways, California Mac is signing out. Thanks again. Bye for now. And I hope to see you soon. I also hope to see you soon, my lovely friend Luca. From me and from Luca, have a great day and take life by the balls. And swallow the balls. And then spit it out. And then, you know, just go with the flow of the camp. Anyway, bye!